Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, we're gonna talk about making your Gatsby pages interactive. One of the cool things about Gatsby is it's built using this framework called React.js. And React.js was built by Facebook, and so you know it's like a powerhouse framework. One of the cool things about React is that it allows us to make our websites really interactive. So the user can actually like interact with the website, and the website will respond to the user. And I'm gonna show you how we can build a page that just implements like a simple little counter. So you'll press like a plus button and the counter will increment and then you'll, plus, you'll, you'll press a minus button and the counter will decrement. So the first thing I wanna do is come over here into this pages folder and I'm gonna create a new file. And we're just gonna call this counter.js. So inside of this counter file, we are going to make our counter. And then in our index file, I just wanna create a link so that we can easily get to this counter page. And so this will just link us to the counter. And so actually I'm gonna put a break in here. So now when we click this link, it'll bring us over to our counter page. Now there is some like default code that I want to put inside this counter.js file. And I'm just gonna paste it in and then I'm gonna explain what the code is doing and then you can just copy it in on your own. And that way you can practice kind of like writing this stuff out. So you'll notice I just pasted in a bunch of code and this code actually looks a little bit different than the code that we had in our index.js file. And that's because this code is different. So again, this is just JavaScript code and it's uh, code that's for the React framework. And I'll just kind of walk you through what's in here. So up here, we're just importing React. And now we're creating a class called counter and it's extending the react.component. So basically this is gonna be a React component, which is basically just like um, a little component inside of React that can do certain things. So, and then we have this render function right here. And basically anything that goes inside of this uh, render function is gonna get displayed on the page. And so here we're returning all of the stuff that's gonna get displayed. So we're just returning uh, whatever is in here. And so inside of this class, we can put a bunch of code that's gonna help to make our um, React component dynamic. So it'll help to make our, our page dynamic. And so now on this counter page, um, we just have basically just a div that says that it's the class component and now I wanna start adding in some code. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add in some uh, HTML elements, and this will kind of like be the setup for our counter. So inside of these divs, I'm just gonna paste in this code. And you'll notice here we have a bunch of code. So we have a header that says counter, we have a paragraph that says the current count, which is zero. And then we have two buttons, a plus button and a minus button. So eventually what we want to happen is when the user clicks this plus button, we want this counter to increment. And when the user clicks this minus button, we want the counter to decrement. So over here on our page, we just have the plus and the minus buttons. And you'll notice that nothing happens right now, but all we have to do is just add in a little bit of logic into this um, React class, into this uh, Gatsby class, and it'll start working. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add in what's called a constructor. So up here, I'm just gonna paste in some more code. So it's gonna look like this, and actually this isn't formatted very well. But this is a constructor function. And so basically what this is doing is that this gets called whenever we create this class or whenever we like reload the page. And it's setting this variable called state. And so state is a variable that basically represents the state of the component. And I'm not gonna get too much into what state does, but for all you need to know for now is just that inside of this state variable, we can store a variable called count. So basically we can store the current count inside of this state object. So we can store the count right there. And then I also wanna add in some other code and it's actually gonna go in the counter. And so I'm just gonna put this right here. And you'll notice that now, instead of just having a zero here, when we're trying to access the current count, we have something that says this.state.count. What this is doing is it's accessing this state variable up here. 
So basically, instead of just displaying zero, we want to display the value of the count inside of the state. And then there's one more thing we need to do, which is get the buttons working, right? In other words, we want something to happen when we click the buttons. Because right now, when we click these buttons, nothing happens, right? If I click the plus button and the minus button, the count just stays where it is. So what we need to do is add in a, a little function in here to this button tag. And again, I'm just going to paste it in and then I'll show you what it's doing. So what it looks like here is we have button and then it says on click equals and then we have these open curly brackets and then two parentheses. And what we're doing here is we're setting the state. So it says this dot set state and then inside of here it just says count. And so basically what this is doing is it's decrementing the counter, right? So it's subtracting one from the counter. And actually, I think I could probably format this a little bit better so you guys can see it, right? So this is basically just what it's going to look like uh, right here. And actually, this should be the minus button because we're decrementing. So then I can take this same type of code and use it for the plus button, but instead of decrementing it. So instead of subtracting one over here, we can just add one. So I'm going to do the same thing and I'm just going to paste it in here. And so now when I refresh this page, what should happen is when I click the minus button, the current count should decrement. And when I click the plus button, the current count should increment. And you'll see I'm clicking the plus button and the counter is incrementing and I'm clicking the minus button and it's decrementing. So that's kind of how you can make your pages dynamic. And so basically I'm just using this on click function down here and it's setting the state variable, which we set up here in the constructor and it's either incrementing that count or it's decrementing that count. And that's kind of how, yeah, that's one way that you can make your pages interactive. Obviously the more you learn about react JS, the more you'll be able to use um, these react components to make your website uh, more interactive and more dynamic. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.